Hello friends, this is Praveen and today in this video we are going to learn about the heat and the temperature. First, the heat. The heat is a form of energy which cannot be neither uh, made or neither destroyed. This can be transferred from a one uh, form to another form. We can see and visualize the heat. Yes, we can see the heat, but we have to go at a very molecular form. Just take this is a hot body and this is a cold body. The molecules of the hot body would move very faster compared to the cold body in the cold body it would move very very slowly would move very very slowly how we can visualize uh, we have seen the heat then how we can feel the heat you take uh, three containers just in first uh, there is a hot water in second it is a normal water and in third it is a cold water. Dip two of your fingers in the hot and a cold body. After dipping it in the some time you then put your both fingers in the normal then which finger which would be put in the what put in the hot uh, water feels that the, that water is a cool thing but uh, the which uh, the water in the uh, finger which put in the cold uh, would feel uh, feel that this was a uh, hot so how can the this a uh, water at the same time could be hot and a uh, cold this is an example of the feeling of a heat. Then we have is a SI unit of heat. The SI unit of heat he is a zone which is written as a J. Let's move to the temperature. The temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness of a body. How we can measure the temperature? How we can measure my the temperature of measurement is done by an instrument which is called a thermometer. So what is a thermometer? A thermometer is an instrument that is used to measure the temperature of a body or how cold or how hot is it. Then we learn about the parts of the, the parts of thermometer. What are the parts of thermometer? This is a thermometer. First, this contains a bulb like structure which is called bulb which holds mercury or alcohol in it. Then it is connected through a pipe in which the this is flow the liquid flows. This is called liquid flame or bowl. And this steam, this uh, glass steam is called a stem. And the numbering written on this is called marking. In uh, some of the temperature thermometers, it has a A resistance which in the bowl which allows the less heat the once it is raised the less mercury to flow down again to the bulb which for we can see the temperature after take out from the thing just we put in hot substance 
and put out and then we can also see but uh, if a thermometer without containing the uh, knick how would the uh, mercury or the alcohol would be raised down and we cannot get an accuracy measure after taking out out from the substance and reading it then uh, we have the types of the thermometers the types of thermometers are divided into two types these include clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometer first clinic thermometer as we discussed th some thermometers have this clinic this is found in the clinic thermometer uh, this temperature uh, this marking in the clinic thermometers measure from 35 degree celsius to 42 degree celsius the average temperature of our human body is about 37.5 degree degree celsius and in fahrenheit it is about 92.6 degree fahrenheit then this is used to measure the uh, our temperature mostly it is used in a clinical when we have a fever then we have the laboratory thermometer laboratory thermometer is used in lab for doing experiments the uh, the markings of this uh, temperature belongs from minus 10 degrees celsius to 110 degrees celsius in this the pin is absent in this and it the measuring how to be read within the substance we have to not take out the thermometer uh, laboratory thermometer then the both of these contains the mercury or alcohol why the mercury is mostly used in the thermometers the mercury is widely used in the thermometers because it can remain liquid for the lot higher temperatures and lot even lesser temperatures even also it is a opaque material so this is used in a thermometer but the mercury and is a harmful substance if breaking of this bulb sometimes could lead to the death because flowing of a mercury into the some part can lead to the death also if putting in the mouth then we use this form of the thermometer which is called digital thermometer this this do not needs any um, mercury this tells a reading a reading with an accurate very accuracy just it is a 37 which would be represented in the mercury but it would represent at a very molecular form also this is just like 37.5 in this it would be 37 also then this uses the electronic system to tell the electronic and the heat to tell the, the temperature. Then we see here the degree Celsius Fahrenheit. What are these? These are called the scales. The marking is represented by the scales all. There are major three types of scales which are Celsius. Fahrenheit and Kelvin. First, Celsius. Celsius scale was invented by and yes, Celsius. Uh, this the I am this. The upper and the lower point, the lower temperature here, I mean the boiling or uh, freezing point of ice and here upper, I mean the boiling point of the water. So, the uh, in the Celsius scale, the lowest temperature uh, is 0 degree Celsius and uh, the upper remote is 100 degree Celsius which is the boiling water temperature. Then, uh, Fahrenheit were discovered by Fahrenheit 
डेनियल ग्रेवियल फेरनाइट द द लोएस्ट टेम्परेचर ऑफ दिस इज 32 डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड द हाईएस्ट टेम्परेचर इज अबाउट 212 डिग्री सेल्सियस एज यू कैन सी देन ऑफ मी हैज द कैल्विन द कैल्विन इज द स्टैंडर्ड यूनिट ऑफ द ऑल द स्किल्स द एब्सोल्यूट जीरो मींस इज last which is the ever lowest temperature in our universe the it was invented by the kelvin kelvin lord the the lowest point of this is about 200 and where कन्वेक्शन और कन्वर्जन ऑफ दिस on scales into each other we use a formula or we can make a formula using this small table that we have to learn which is temperature of scale 1 minus the lower temperature which is the we have learned minus the upper temperature minus the lower upon the upper temperature upon upon upper temperature minus lower temperature equals to temperature uh, which is the scale uh, scale 2 minus the lower temperature upon upper temperature minus the lower temperature so what would this happen if you will see in the series of the celsius fahrenheit and the kelvin so let's take up uh, the first celsius so any temperature in celsius minus 0 upon 100 minus 0 would be equals to equals to any temperature of fahrenheit minus 32 degree upon upon 212 minus minus 32 and in the kelvin it would be equals to with the temperature in kelvin the lower minus the temperature which is 273 minus 373 minus 273 so this the formula to convert the degree celsius into the fahrenheit is 9 upon 5 multiply by the temperature of the fahrenheit uh, plus 32 and uh, of the temperature fahrenheit uh, it would be equals to 5 upon 9 multiply by temperature minus 32 which is celsius and to convert into kelvin the degree celsius equals to u Kelvin temperature minus two hundred and seventy three, and to convert the Fahrenheit temperature into Kelvin, we can uh, first convert into Celsius and then convert into this. Then we have convert. Now we have the transfer of it. The transfer of heat. Let's visualize that. If I take a two body temp, which here I am representing a normal, which is not the hot and not a cold, and this is a high at a high, so its temperature is higher. So this body is hot and this body is cold. If I connect this with a two pipe, so the heat will flow from the hotter region 
to the colder region. This concludes that the heat flows from a higher temperature to the lower temperature. Then it the transfer of heat takes place in mainly in three types. These include conduction, convection, and radiation. First, conduction. Conduction is normally takes place in the solids. It takes place in the conductors and insulators. Conductors are the materials which allow the heat to flow through them. But it is sometimes difficult to pass into the insulators because the, they are vice versa of the conductors. They allow the less heat to flow through them. Flow through them. Then if let's learn with an example. This if we connect a ring here. And we put a wax and attach with a pen. And here we put a burning candle. So this would temperature would heat up this. And it would slowly fall down the pins. First the pin 1 would fall the second. And then pin third. Uh, depending on the series of the pins. Then we have the convection. Convection. Uh, generally take place in the fluids. By fluids I mean the gas and the liquid. Examples of this are sea breeze and the land breeze. Let's see. The sea breeze happens in the daytime in which there this is a land the and land and this is a sea. The land gets heat faster from the sun's rays compared to the sea. So in the when this is hotter, hot, the heat flows to the sea and the sea it sends its the cold breeze. This goes in at a night, whereas in the land breeze is at a night time. Night time from which the sea is hotter due to the sun's heat in the uh, then this would flow oh, opposite side from this so it would move from here here and the land would tell us sense the temperature cool temperature from here then we have the radiation radiation is a mode of the transfer which do not require any medium. Examples of this, if you take a burning candle and here place the fire thermometer, this can done. The heat is flowed up. This do not need any medium. Then working of the thermos flux. The thermos flux is remains the cold of uh, water cold and the cook hot thing hot. Just like how did this this in this the heat is tightly packed so that if there is a hot thing inside it could not flow it could not flow outside here is an insulated trap and then there is a conductor outside there is an insulated trap which do not allow the heat to flow through them and when there is a cold body this do not allow the cold to flow through them so this remains the the thing which is hot in the hot and which is cold is too cold so let's summarize what we have learned today. We have learned today the heat in which what is the heat, temperature, how to measure it, what is thermometer, parts of thermometer, or types of thermometer, clinic, laboratory, digital. Then we learned about the scales which is Celsius, Fahrenheit, Kelvin. Then we learned out how to convert into each other. Then we have the trans learned about the transfer of heat. It is mainly done by the three parts which is conduction, radio, conduction, convection and radiation. Then we learn about the working of the thermoflex. So friends, I hope that you like this video and at the last, thanks for watching.